are currently in Sch <laughs> Schnobler, what's it called? Schabnall Wharf. No, we're not. Uh, we're in Schabnall Fields. Schabnall Fields. And it's really nice. There's loads of, I'll show you in a minute, but there's loads of beautiful daffodils and there's some kids playing Saturday morning for football. And not soccer. Not soccer. What did you think of, where are we? Schabnall? No. Oh, um, um, Bergen upon Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a nice ish town. It's mixed, um, isn't it? it's, it's definitely sort of industrial feel to it. And um, apparently it has this very old beer brewing history going back to like the 13th century or something. Which and is still like evidence. And there's like loads of historic. Yeah. Well, there's like, so yeah. From my perspective, they've been ruining water here for like 700 <laughs> years. Uh, okay, so the canal runs on like the northern end of the town. That's where we are. And and there's just this constant drone of the of the... A road. It's not even a motorway, and yet it still makes Is a lot of noise. Is it still the A road? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, going it's above us and around. It's not so bad. But no, but it's like it's just—it's just constantly there. And what else is lovely? The sun's come out. Weather check. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> you gotta, you gotta talk about weather if you're British. Oh, I need to get. We've got a couple of locks to do. I need to get a windless. Windless. Yeah. So yeah. Should we go? I think so. It's going to be maybe a somewhat short trip if we stop in Whittington, I think um, but if we can carry on. No, I think we need to stop there and go to the marina, but then I think we need to cruise on. So this is Mercia Marina, basically I think the largest marina in England, if not it's, Europe. Fun fact, it's the first place we ever went to look at a narrowboat. Yeah. And they were really helpful and nice, actually. Yeah, although the narrowboats were way too short, and we were kind of depressed when we left. Yeah, we were depressed when we left, but he, he was really nice, because he was like, just see as much as you can. And, which was good advice in the long Yeah, it was. It was yeah. Like, so yeah, we were depressed, but he left us with a positive feeling. <laughs> well, this was a, this was the first experience of the, yes, it's six foot four, and then it's like, ah, it's six foot four measured by someone who's five foot two. But also, it was the first experience of, oh, the self fit, fit out looks really good and professional. Mm. And then you get on board and it's like, oh, oh yeah. Oh, God, yeah, that <laughs> one remember? boat. Yeah, it looked so good on pictures. Like, very modern interior, sort of a reverse layout and everything. Kind of ticked all the boxes of things we thought we wanted. And then we got there and it was just like, it's sharp edges and it's crap. And, like, just just not going to work. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's really yeah. interesting that we actually ended up with kind of the opposite of the boat we sort of Versal. started out looking for. And look at us now, a year later. Yeah. Bad riddance. Anything else? Nope. I think that's it. So there's one lock ahead. Fairly short, three foot, six inch lock. And it's the last of the... It's kind of weird. The book says it's the last of the narrow locks, and then I can only find a thing saying there's one wide lock, and then it goes back to the narrow locks again. I think there must be more than one wide beam, and I'm just or wide lock, and I'm just reading something wrong on here. But it sounds kind of funny. Right, let's go. All right, we're off. Just walking along behind Michael and saw him turning off and I couldn't understand where he was going but he spotted this sanitary station at a Horninglow basin where there's a few little moorings and the Blimian A38, the noisy road again so he's pulled in here to, to empty the, uh, the liquid. It's a good little spot. Me and George behind. It's there. We can't give up. As well as the noise from the road, I've got my dog's stink from the swamp that he went running in. So I think we're just coming. 
coming into Wellington Village and um, before we go to Mercy Marina which is just the other side I think we're going to stop in the village and have a look around and maybe have some lunch. now and waved. We're um, just sitting, we've just had some chips in Wellington. We didn't plan to, but there was a chip shop, so we did. <laughs> just kind of happened. Yeah, we, it was it was great. We pull over in Wellington, we get off the boat, we uh, came up behind a boat named after a character in Lord of the Rings, or well, actually The Hobbit, that was oddly enough what I worked on when I was at Weta. And then um, we turned around, walked back, found a, a map, looked at the map went, what should we look at in Wellington? And then saw number three, the chip shop. So okay, we're going to the chip shop. So <laughs> we did quite, a little walk around town. That's quite nice. There's um, lots of people milling about the canal. To be honest, the canal is like the nicest thing we found here. <laughs> not that it's not nice, but... It is a nice enough little town, but the canal is pretty and green and everything. There's three pubs, if you are into pubs. Mm -hmm. And um, we were just... And the chip shop opens at noon. <laughs> when we, were, we were 20 minutes early. And we were just sitting here eating our chips and a boat went past and I was looking at it and I was like, oh, they've got really nice bunting on the, on the front of their boat. We should get bunting. Actually, bunting is cool. Wouldn't see our boat. And um, then they started waving and saying hello. And we were like, do they watch our videos? And then they were like, hi, George. Like, oh, yeah, they must watch our videos. So that was really nice. It's a bit tricky because you can never really... Because everyone's so friendly. Like, like, everyone says hello, whether they watch our videos or not. Yeah. And most people don't watch our videos, obviously. So we, we never know <laughs> people do and we don't want to assume sometimes people will be like hey that's george speaking of george i have to put my sunglasses on yeah speaking, it's getting pretty bright yeah it's really bright speaking of george me and george walked the first half of this little trip from where were we this morning burton uh, shabnall field yeah in burton to um wellington where we are now and it was mainly okay until george decided to chase some ducks in some flooded fields, and now he thinks of... Ducks and flooded fields. And Michael was ahead, so there's hardly any footage of the boat today. And um, I was shouting for him to come back, and he finally came back. And I was like, come on, let's go. And just as I was like... To be clear, she wasn't shouting at me, she was shouting at George. I couldn't, I couldn't shout at you, you were gone. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, George, come on, let's go. And just as like I was telling him off and about to put him on the lead, something flapped in the bushes, another duck. And he was gone again for another five minutes. So, doghouse. Yeah. He didn't have a clue. He was like long gone around the canal. I had a down clue. Down the road. Because I heard something, looked back and saw you walking up a hill with no George there. So I started trying to figure out where to pull over, except for at that exact moment, I just like just powered my way onto an aqueduct. Yes, yeah, so there's no nice footage of the aqueduct. Because yeah. And it was, it was a nice aqueduct with these like, beside it, there was a bridge with uh, four arches, nice stone bridge. And it was like, oh, I wish I had my camera. I didn't have my camera. It was inside the, the thing. So I was going to yell at you to take pictures. But then you disappeared. And I'm like, well, I can't stop here because there's a boat coming up behind me. So then eventually I caught up. Michael was like, are you all right? No, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> and he said, do you want to get on the boat? Yes, I do. Anyway, in other news, what's this, what's this thing in the sky? No, uh, it's like a ball of fusing hydrogen or something. <laughs> Well, I like, a, I like it, whatever it is. It is, it's nice, but it's like, I think I might need, actually need to get my hat out for the first time in nine months. Sure. Should we um, carry on to the marina? Yeah, so it's like a mile, yeah, it's not a half far. mile like further along, and then um, I guess we should do a little shopping in there, maybe. Yeah, like, we need to start, because we've got lots of rust spots on our boat that we haven't been able to treat all winter, and... Um, as soon we need as, rust treatment and paint and primer. As soon as we get nice days, we need to start working on it bit by bit. And I want to, I want to work on the front doors. I want to re-varnish those because they're a bit weather-worn now. Well, luckily, we have a big can of La Tonquinois. <laughs> and I've got to get some uh, miscellaneous bits of hardware and maybe a, uh, a little hand pump type thing to empty out some of the oil and stuff so I can do the engine maintenance that needs to be done. So, yeah little bit of a shopping day probably carry on to the next lock yeah maybe well, I think, more below it i think anywhere that we find some more after the marina yeah and then we have to find out more about whether or not because the guy in front of us on thor and oakenshield said that um the trent is currently closed again so we sort of have to 
check whether or not that's actually true or not. So we're just about to leave Mercy Marina and it's been quite the adventure starting with turning into it and having a little bump on the way in. Little bump. I, I fully full on high speed bash straight into the canal. Um, into the canal. Yeah, it was like it was like into uh, the canal. Hmm? Well, sorry, into the canal bank. Right, good point. Um, yeah, we were turning in and it was just deceptively more narrow than I thought it was, like from the angle that it was coming in, because I'd just seen a wide beam come out. Uh, they have a trip boat here that travels out. And so we have seen a wide beam on this section. We, we have. If we would. We're surprised by it, but the, you know, and there's one for sale here too. But yeah, when we um, when I was coming in, I was just after seeing the wide beam come out. I just sort of misjudged the the amount of turn I had to do, and so at the last second, I'm like, uh oh, reverse. reverse. And then Joe normally sort of pops up and politely reminds me that I'm getting too close to something, and she didn't pop up. So I was like, oh, we're fine, we're fine. Thunk. That massive. <laughs> <laughs> so but she anyway. was bracing for impact, and I didn't know that there was going to be one. Did um, you? No, oh, I, had, I, I didn't realize how close we were, like at all, just because of the angles and stuff. And um, <laughs> we've been here ages because we kept talking to people that came to say hello. So that was really, really lovely. Yeah, it was lovely. Thank you, everybody, for but stopping and saying hi. We went to find Steve and Andy because they said they'd be in the cafe. We went to find them to say goodbye, but we think we missed them because we were talking to other people for too long. And and we had to go into Midland Chandler's for quite a while. But it was really interesting because this is Mercia and Marina where we first came to uh, to try and buy a boat when we, we came to the so busy here new and used boat company. It is Saturday, but there's so many people shopping for boats today. Yeah. And there's people just here for the shops and just the atmosphere as well. Yeah. It's really nice. Pretty cool place. All right, should we go maybe do a lock and definitely find a mooring? Yeah, so the next lock is the 12 foot four double lock double wide lock so yeah so we okay. should turn around just here yeah um and now we just need to get the dog on the boat yeah so just coming past another marina stenson marina I'm tired, so we just tried some more here, but it's too shallow, so we're going to walk. First time since the K and A that we've done like a wild mooring, and um, can't find the hammer. We had to use our old hammer that we replaced because it was broken and dangerous, <laughs> and we could only find three of our mooring pins. We just forgot how to do it. Yeah, I found the fourth mooring pin. Oh, did you? Yeah, but uh, it's pretty nice. I've just not really. <laughs> we forgot how to do it. It was just like, man, these mappy pin things are nice. Like we left here. It's a beautiful spot. There's some swans nesting over there. There's a railway track there, although there hasn't been many trains, so hopefully it'll be... Cool. No, that's a freight train line. And there's this, the mild hum of, no doubt it's the A38 still. Yeah. <laughs> it's just nice being in the middle of nowhere, actually. Yeah. And it's nice being sat on the front of the boat, filming this end bit, instead of freezing. Mm. It's been a really beautiful day. Yeah, so the other thing we did today, which is the first time we've done it since the Thames, was a double wide look. A wide look. And a, and a deep one at the yeah, really I got lock rage though. Yeah. Like, I got really 
Like, I mean, you were a little flustered as we came in because it had like an extra set of paddles. <laughs> yeah, there was ground paddles and door paddles, and I was like, which one do I do? Yeah. And it was it was nearly full for us. Like it had just dropped a bit because it was quite leaky. Anyway, so I, I quite soon worked out what was going on, and then there was a boat coming up behind us, which was just fantastic because it meant that we had someone to share the lock with, which is always good. But um, I got like. I don't know. I was getting bossed around by this guy. I don't know who he was or where he came from or where his boat was, but he was definitely like enjoying taking control of the situation, even though his boat is not in the lock. Anyway, I'll probably edit most of this out because it just sounds like I'm bitching. But the water's nearly out, and he's one of these guys that's like pushing on the gate so that it opens, you know, before oh, the water's dropped. Yeah. And then eventually the gate starts opening, and he says to me, you can you can drop the paddle now, as I'm walking to it, holding my windlass. Yeah, he he was he was ahead of the time. So it was our first double lock in a while, which means it was also the first double lock where immediately as soon as the gates open, there's a boat sitting on the other Waiting side, to come in. and neither of the lock gates opened all the way, so um, I, I had to let the other guy go first so he could make it oh, around the other guy. Around the guy who was who was sitting all the way forward on the lock mm -hmm. landing. He could make it out, get to his crew, and then I could swing out past the open door. So it was a bit of a, bit of a fun one. It's been a really day. nice day. It's been really social. It's been sunny. It's like, I just hope we've got like a whole spring and summer and autumn of days like this because I've missed, I've missed just being able to sit outside and not be cold. And it's really just it makes such so a nice. Like any cruising day, whatever the weather, is a good day. But yeah. when it's like this, it's extra. It's special. much better. Yeah. Like it's just. It's just kind of magical. And like going to Midland Chandler's, like we didn't get the paint we wanted because it's a really old colour. So we're not really sure what we're going to do. But it's really made me want to like get working on the boat and get the outside all cleaned and get the rust treated. Mm -hmm. I want to get some overalls. I've seen a couple of people working in like like mechanics overalls. Okay, I can get you some overalls. <laughs> I want to awesome. look the part. Yeah. <laughs> so um, this is the second of our experimental one day cruise logs. Although, see, people seem to like them. They did, but loads of people commented that it wasn't actually any shorter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was just as long. It was just as long. It just didn't cover as much distance. And hopefully, the sound's been better in this one. Sorry about the wind in the last one. What I've realised is we always say at the end of our videos, please like, comment, and subscribe. But when I say like, I mean thumbs up. It's not like it doesn't say like. It just is a picture of a thumbs up. Oh, so should please we, thumbs up. Should we be saying please thumbs up? Please comment because we love comments and also subscribe because I'd like to get to that arbitrary number of 4,000 by, by our anniversary which is in May. And also a couple of people commented that they've missed some videos even though they're subscribed and apparently you need to press there's like a little bell. Oh yeah, you need to press the thing for the notifications. And if you press the bell then you'll actually get notified of every time we put up a blog. If you don't want notifications, don't press, press the bell. But, but yeah, yeah, if you don't actually ping. click that bell button, then you won't necessarily um, and I think even get when, a ping that we're there. When you click the bell, you then get an option of, do you want all notifications or some notification? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's some, some level so, of customization. Anything else? No. Oh, it. just thanks again for everyone that's said hello today. So, thanks for watching. Please thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>been called a <clears throat> Moss Isley cantina dweller. What's Moss Isley? Scum and villainy hive. Um, I just Scum worked, and villainy. I just worked with what I was given. <clears throat> you just edited the heck out of it to make it look like If you idiot. haven't seen the last video, skip to the bloopers. Or go watch the Twitter feed where she, <laughs> she completely slanderized me and then you know, after she edits it and puts it up and everything, it's like two hours later or whatever, there's all these comments coming on. She's like, have you seen Twitter, by the way? Because, like, maybe I should have asked permission about this. Michael? The nation's most treasured dish. What did you find in Wellington? Fish and chips. Only, in this case, just chips. Uh, chips with salt. Because no loud vinegar. Oh, I should have got you the vinegar. Not loud vinegar. <laughs> and I'm like, do you want to get on the boat here? No, too muddy. Okay, uh, no, you can actually, walk forward a little bit. That's that's a lie. You said, do you want me to move forward because it's a bit muddy? And I said, yes. 
but if I didn't go, no, it's too muddy. Too muddy. <laughs> and then on to... S Shard Oh, uh, yeah, snake, snake stone. Sna yeah. Snackers No. Do you need some? Swackers stone? Swiss repose. <laughs> French. Belgian possible. I don't know. Train. Train passing right now, very loud. Cool beans? Should we move on? I hate that saying. Hot beans. <laughs> yep. Lukewarm legumes. Let's go. Okay. Oh, they gone. They gonna go bye bye. They gonna go bye bye. Very sad. Yeah, I mean, I am a ridiculous pasty white. Nobody's gonna Same believe thing. I'm really Californian. But anyway. You're not Californian anymore. I'm not Californian no, anymore. I'm British. Okay, edit that out. Jeez. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> um. <laughs> Tired. Tired. <laughs> what else I've realised is we always say like comment and surprise. Surprise? Surprise! What else I've realised <laughs> is we always say like, comment and surprise. <laughs> like, comment and subscribe. El Thomo Megro. Megro? Yeah, this one. No. <laughs> I don't even know what Megro means. It's El Thomo Grande. Thumbs up. <laughs>